Hello and welcome to another episode of Development Adelaide. This is episode number four, which is our May 2022 update. This is an update for news and developments across Adelaide and South Australia. So let's hop right into it. Here's what's coming up on today's episode. We've got the latest in construction news, news in infrastructure and transport, some updated photos of uh, city developments and also what's coming up on this channel in the next couple of uh, months. And starting off with the latest in construction news, first we've got the uh, construction bit starting at 88 O'Connell Street in North Adelaide, which is also known as the Old La Corne News site. Now, um, given that this site has been vacant for just about 30 years, it's really great to see construction starting on this development. We've also got construct construction starting at the Cullinan, which is on Weymouth Street, the old music store uh, location. So on the left hand side there, you've got a photo of the site works progressing quite rapidly on the site. So it's another great development around uh, Light Square. We've got the housing crisis, which continues to escalate. It's pro uh, the property and rental prices are going through the roof, especially in Adelaide, so that's causing a lot of um, tension and, and issues around the housing sector. So that's one thing that will continue to be um, kept an eye on. Uh, we've got the Central Market Arcade closing in around May and June. Um, that's the small uh, arcade that's located next to the Central Market. Uh, including Coles, so all of those sh shops are going to be closing in stages over the next couple of weeks. Uh, obviously another big story was the Labour Party winning the state election in March, and obviously they're going to have some uh, impacts around what's proposed in terms of infrastructure, transport, and possibly even some changes around development, so wait and see what happens with that. And we've also had some plans for a eight-storey women's housing project on Hutt Street. Uh, that's currently being assessed, I believe. So um, that's another important one to watch. Moving on to infrastructure and transport news. We've got quite a few things that have been happening in this area. First of all, we've got the $200 million Marion Crossroad Anzac Highway upgrade, which I talked about in the last video. Um, that's going to be going ahead in the next couple of years and going to hopefully resolve some of those congestion issues and provide some better open space and transport uh, uh, infrastructure around that area. We've got demolition work commencing on the Torrens to Darlington project, which is part of the North-South Corridor. Festival Plaza opened as well in March this year, and uh, we've got some photos of that uh, coming up very shortly. We've got the uh, Fleury Connections, which is a consolidation of the Victor Harbour Road and Main South Road upgrades that's uh, recently started. It uh, involves some duplication along those roads. We've got the Golden Grove Park and Ride, which recently opened. Uh, I think that was, in fact, uh, earlier this week. We've got real-time tram capacity indicators now available on the Adelaide Metro website, which shows you how full or empty a tram is. And we've got test trains, both diesel and electric, riding up and down the Gawler line at the moment. And that's going towards uh, eventual opening of that line. Now, today's development updates, we've got quite a few going on here at the moment. These are some of the big developments happening in the city centre. And we're going to be going through them one by one. And this is just a map which outlines where those developments are uh, in a spatial context. First of all, the Festival Tower. Uh, Festival Tower is being developed by Walker Corporation. And it's recently commenced construction. And here's the view from Festival Plaza. You can see there the Sky City Adelaide development which recently has been completed and the Festival Tower rising up slowly from that uh, plaza area. And here on the second slide of photos you can see 
the current construction happening here and a bit of a, an insight into the scale of this development. So it's quite big. It's going to be very imposing along the riverbank here. Uh, next one is the Charter Hall development at 60 King William Street, which used to be the Southern Cross Arcade. Uh, progress on this one has been quite uh, a bit slow in the last couple of months. Um, you can sl slowly see it rising. You can see there the two main levels uh, starting to take shape and it's now covered the whole Sandal and McDougall building uh, there in the front there, the heritage listed facade. And you can see in the background there the office com uh, component of this development going up. Now this is going to be a great development in terms of retail space because it provides additional space um, away from Rundle Mall. And on the second photo, it gives you a bit more of an insight at, at the uh, heritage facade of the um, old building there, and also just what sort of an impact this is making from the Rundle Mall tram stop. Next one is 85 Peary Street. Now this development is pretty much complete. It's going to be the home for the Department for Infrastructure and Transport and a few other um, organisations. And you can see there that interesting pattern of glass that's going up and down those uh, sides of the building. Uh, the other thing this will also do is provide uh, uh, um, better connectivity between Peary Street and Flinders Street. So it's great to see this one almost completed. The next one just around the corner is 61 Wide Street. Now, last time we saw this, it was a big, big hole in the ground, pretty much. Uh, it's now started to take shape. There's walls going up all across there. And you can also see the crane working hard, getting all those panels, concrete panels into place. Next is the Adelaide GPO or Married Hotel. Now, I think I actually prefer to this as the Western Hotel, and I think this is actually the Marriott Hotel now. So uh, this is being developed by Grayton, which also developed West Franklin. And you can see here, uh, there's a lot of site works happening at the moment. And right next to the Heritage Building along King William Road, they've now installed a container subway, which allows pedestrians to walk through past the site and past the construction site without any major safety issues. A few more images here. You can see it's right in the heart of that city central development that went up over the last 20 years or so. And on the right hand side, you've got uh, another angle of that giant hole in the ground um, that's being prepared for development. Next is the Riverbank to Market Link in Bentham Street. Uh, Riverbank to Market Link has been an ongoing project over the last couple of years. It started with Bank Street, Lee Street and Topham Mall. And finally, it's uh, come all the way through to Bentham Street, which is great to see. And it's going to be a huge, huge change compared to what it used to be in, in the previous, um, in, in its current form. So a couple of images here of the works that are progressing at the moment. You can see there all of the infrastructure is currently being installed, including drainage and so forth, and uh, also all of the other service pits that are currently putting being put into place. Um, this will take quite a, a number of months to complete, but uh, judging from that uh, render we saw before, I think it's going to be a great outcome for that area. And a bit further north, more towards Top of Mall, you can see more works currently progressing to get that infrastructure into place before the whole area is um, redeveloped. And finally, it's going to be uh, a sad goodbye to the Adelaide Central Market Arcade. Uh, that arcade has been with us for more than 60 years or possibly even longer, if you count previous iterations of the arcade. 
like this current arcade has, has been there since the 60s or possibly even the 50s. Um, but you can see now um, as the construction um, is almost imminent, uh, you can see Coles is starting to pack up all of their uh, shelving. A lot of the stores in the arcade have already closed, including Subway and the, the Chemist. And uh, yeah, just a bit of nostalgia there. Uh, hopefully um, we can provide a bit of a feature on that in the future. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a big development uh, at the market. It's going to be a mixture of retail space, office space, and residential apartments. So this area will be really transformed over the next few years. So that's all in terms of uh, development updates for this episode. Uh, we've got a few upcoming videos, including the Heinmarsh Stadium upgrade down at Heinmarsh, or also known as Cooper Stadium, to some of us. Um, that will be a, a big video that I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. I'll also be providing an update on Flagstaff Road uh, and its completion, which is very, very close, I believe. We've got also some more updates on the intersections currently under construction at Portrush and McGill Road, Cross and Fullerton Road, and the Torrance Road level crossing removal. And I'm still planning to, at some stage, head up to Port Wakefield and taking a look at the upgrade to the highway, including the road up to the Copper Coast. Uh, coming events, uh, not too much happening. Um, at this stage, we've got the Dormator design, which I've talked about for months, but I'm hoping that there will be some design information soon about this one. Um, also, something that keeps getting delayed is the Gawler Line reopening. At this stage, it will be June, um, I believe. And we've got the state budget coming up in a couple of uh, weeks. I think it's at the start of June. I think it's the 6th of June. So that will also be giving us an insight of what the Labor Party's intentions are in terms of how they'll be developing Adelaide and South Australia. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comments, um, please leave them in the section below. Leave, I'd love some feedback because obviously I want to make these videos as good and relevant as possible. And if you do like this, then please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.